Hello everybody and Merry Christmas. Today is the 12th day of our 12 days of Christmas openings. If you haven't seen any of the shorts for the previous 11 days, I highly recommend checking those out and I've left a link to the playlist in the top right corner of this video and in the description down below. So today we will be taking a look at four total packs one of which is a promo pack. I was kind of conflicted on which one I should open first during the 12 days. So I decided to go ahead and save these three for last as I feel these are going to be the most interesting packs to open. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into them. So I think the first pack that we are going to open will be the Dominary United Collector's Booster Pack. Uh, over the last 11 days, we've had quite a few of the Dominary United Boosters. And with this one, I'm just interested to see uh, what we get as compared to the non-Collector's Editions. So, that being said, let's just get into it. We start this pack off with Destroy Evil as a foil, Molten Tributary also as a foil, Crystal Grotto also as a foil. We have Artillery Blast, Tura Kenarud Sky Knight, Runic Shot, a Stained Glass Swamp, Raf Weatherlight Stalwart as a textured foil and then evolved sleeper as our first rare threats undetected as a non foil rare and then we have another Tura Kenarud Sky Knight this time in the stained glass artwork followed by Jasmine Burial of the Seven Rasputin the Oneromancer as another rare. Denitha Benali's Hope as another rare. With a full art plaza of heroes as a rare land. And a soldier to finish off the pack. Up next, we will go ahead and do our promo pack from the March of the Machines. Since there are only three cards in this pack, I will go ahead and just open it up with a knife. That way, a little bit better on not damaging the cards inside. Okay, so our promo pack contains the Archpriest of Shadows and Scrappy Bruiser and Fibthip the Lost and a code for MTG Arena alright and next up we have Commander's Legends Dungeons and Dragons Battle for Baldur's Gate Collector's Booster So to start this pack out, we have Thieves Tools, Tamora's Invoker, Oceanus Dragon, Cone of Cold, Crystal Dragon, A Forest, Fireball, The Background Criminal Past, Lulu, Loyal Holophant, Bane, Lord of Darkness, as our first rare, Followed by Deep Gnome Terromancer as another rare. Tomb of Horrors Adventurer. Duke 
Older, Raven Guard. Maisie, True Sword Paladin. As another rare. And we finish the pack off with a Mythic Rare being Majestic Genesis. And a Devil Token. And last but not least, the pack I have personally been waiting for, the Double Masters 2022 Draft Booster. Double Masters was one of my favorite sets and is actually was available around the time that I kind of re-entered Magic. So this pack I've been kind of holding on to for a little bit and I'm really excited to go ahead and open it. So without further ado. So if memory serves, one, two, three, four, six. So to start this pack off, we have Sprouting Thernix, Lightning Helix, Vampiric Rites, Cosmina's Transmutation, Chronicler of Heroes, Thought Scour, Seeker's Squire, Anointer of Valor, Hissing Iguana, Experiment One, Rift Bolt, and then we have our Fairy Rogue token, our Cryptic Spires, the dual land that was in every pack, and then our Foil is Campbell, Council of Allocation, as a rare. And then we have God's Willing, as another foil. Followed by Mana Drain, as a mythic rare. Awesome pull. And then to finish the pack off, we have Legion's Initiative. And with that, our 12 days of Christmas comes to an end. Let me know what you guys thought of this video and the accompanying shorts in the comments down below, along with ways I can improve for future videos. Like always, thanks for watching and have a Merry Christmas.